Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Minder and today I want to talk about the F2000, which is the assault rifle which you will unlock with the second assault DLC. Now remember the F2000 in Battlefield 3 is one of my favorite assault rifles, so I was very anxious to finally play with this weapon. Now let's talk about how to unlock this weapon. You need to complete the assignment Express Train. Now to do that you need one assault rifle ribbon, two kill assist ribbons and 10 kills inside the metro. Now there was some confusion about what that actually means. It just means inside Operation Metro 2014. Some people thought you needed to be downstairs in the metro itself. But that is not the case. You could just be upstairs as well. 10 kills and I found that actually the kill assist ribbons were the hardest to get because you tend to just shoot people and not go for assists. So my recommendation for this is to go on 64 man servers and use the incendiary grenade a lot. It often keeps people alive, not necessarily kill them, which is perfect to get assists. Now let's talk about the stats. This weapon has a maximum damage of 25 and drops off to 18 and around 55 meters. Which is actually on the low side if you compare it to the other assault rifles. But nevertheless, it is still very powerful at even longer ranges. The fire rate is 850 rounds per minute, which is high if you compare it to the other assault rifles. It is actually in the same territory as the AEK 971. Now the magazine size is 30 with one round chambered, which is average, with reload times average as well. Now let me suggest the best attachments to use for this weapon, starting off with the optics. Now there's something special going on with the optics for this weapon, as the F2000 has very special optics which is only used for that gun. It has 1.6x zoom and it actually seems very effective, though I would not recommend it over iron sights or reflex sight or let's say a coyote sight. But it is cool to mix it up and see the original sights that belong with this weapon. As an accessory I would go with the laser sight, especially because this weapon has a very high fire rate. I found out that hip fire actually helped me out a lot in small corridors and using laser sight will definitely benefit you in those situations. Now as a barrel attachment I would go with the muzzle brake. I was also using the compensator to see if I could negate the side to side recoil, but I found that using the muzzle brake for vertical recoil seemed to be more effective. Especially because of the high fire rate on this weapon you really need something to counter that. As an underbarrel attachment I would go with the angled grip. This significantly reduces the first shot recoil of the F2000. Especially combined with the muzzle brake I found out that it's really easy to shoot an accurate stream of bullets down even further ranges. However I found out that the stubby grip and potato grip were really effective as well when shooting a large stream of bullets in full auto. Now back in Battlefield 3 the F2000 was one of my favorite weapons. But I'm gonna have to say that in Battlefield 4 this is my favorite assault rifle. It reminds me a lot of the AEK 971 but then with better range. And I found that dropping enemies at longer range was really effective with this weapon as well. And the good thing about this high fire rate is that you're gonna drop people very fast on close quarters too. So in my opinion the best way to use this weapon is to be really aggressive. Don't be scared to run in specific rooms or corridors and start just shooting because with the high fire rate you're gonna be dropping down a lot of enemies. Especially with the laser sight, hip fire will really help you out there as well. Now at longer range tap firing can really benefit you there but if you want to use a stream of bullets that is also very doable. It all depends on the underbarrel attachment you have chosen either the angled grip or the stubby grip. Now if you haven't unlocked the F2000 already I really suggest you do. I'm having such a good time playing with this weapon and it actually pleasantly surprised me that it is so similar to the Battlefield 3 model which of course was genius as well. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you liked it. If you did leave a like rating and I'll see you in the next one. Later guys.